Hi, my name is Marcos. Uh, what is your name and what is your relationship to art and art education? Okay, my name is Michael Kombach. Uh, currently I'm the Assistant Director of Admissions at the Delaware College of Art and Design, but I'm also the Director and Founder of the New Wilmington Art Association. We're a collective of artists that uh, works in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, we organize exhibitions in vacant storefront properties throughout downtown, and every single month we're hosting another group of ideas and artists in different locations. So it's kind of like an, an economic development model, but also uh, a way for us to work and think through space very cheaply. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Had you heard of WHS, the WHS art program before today? If so, how? Yeah, well, uh, I've heard of the program through my work in the admissions office at the Delaware College of Art and Design, and uh, Mr. Miller, having been a former admissions uh, counselor, is uh, very sympathetic to our workload and uh, the kind of things that we're expected to do every fall. But two years ago, I was brought here to Wissahickon, and I was really, um, really impressed with the quality of the work, and the quality instruction coming from Mr. Miller is just uh, second to none. So I am familiar with the program, and uh, I'm jealous actually of the experience you guys have. Uh, what did you expect as you came to visit us today? Well I expected to see uh, you know the emergence of a lot of individual studio based practices. You know I think the the one thing we had in our discussions today is that uh, there's no longer a recipe uh, for the type of work that you need to be making or the type of experiences that you should be having. You know oftentimes when you go to a student show you're gonna see maybe 12, 20 variations of the same project and maybe they all share that same look, same aesthetic. Uh, there's a lot of difference here. Uh, you know, having that uh, just subtle difference in approach within the curriculum really creates a space for some unique voices to really, you know, find themselves. And uh, there's just uh, I'm really impressed with the uh, the individual narratives. Uh, the the work is really excellent. It it almost looks like a BFA thesis show. That's very nice of you to say. Now. Now that you've seen our work, how might you character how might you characterize out? Sorry. <laughs> now that you've seen our work, how might you characterize our approach to learning through the arts? Yeah. Well, to you know, the backtrack, I think that uh, you know the approach is one of uh, I think uh, allowing you know, or being being sensitive and allowing experimentation, but also allowing you know the students to projects to fail or fall flat on their face. And I think that um, when you provide uh, you know, exposure to the contemporary arts, contemporary art practices, you know, uh, I talked to Mr. Miller and, and Ian quite a bit that they're, they're using and thinking about you know, the PBS show Art 21. Uh, you're engaged in, uh, in current relevant work, but you're also uh, you know, given a lot of uh, kind of leading assignments that are gonna bring people to, to different conclusions. And uh, sure, there's a lot of material experiences to, to be had, but I, I really feel that uh, the program here really, uh, you know, allows uh, students to really find their own narrative and to, to reflect personally about what, you know, what things that they're interested in, the kind of things that they want to say with their their own art practice. And uh, it's just it's really refreshing to see uh, a place that allows that to happen. Do you have a favorite part of the exhibit? I have a lot of favorite pieces of this exhibition. There's a lot of really important works, um, and uh, you know, right now we can walk through and, and check out some of these pieces. Uh, it was really difficult to select uh, the number of winners here, but there's a lot of pieces uh, that we really need to give a shout out to right now. So let's go check that out. Okay, so this piece right here by Alexis Supli uh, really jumped out at me. You know, her work. Uh, Overall, the overall concept is, is really tight. Her use of materials is, uh, you know, it's very dynamic and interesting. But this one piece in particular, uh, financial stability, hobbies, hope, food, and love, uh, just uh, just really rang out to me. It's one piece that I kept on returning to throughout this show. Um, you know, this is the one piece that if I had $1,000 in my pocket right now, I'd buy this one work right here. Um, so the financial stability too, I think, you know, coming out of this economic crisis too, we we're trying to figure out like what all this means to us as, as young people, as artists. And, uh, you know, for a high school student to be thinking on this scale, you know, these are the, the kind of elements that are going to allow one to have the time to be bored to develop an artistic practice too. So 
thought it was a really great kind of meta piece and uh, I love it. So it's a couple other pieces. We'll go check. Okay, this piece right here by Joe McDonough uh, really, it really crept up on me. You know, I went through this entire section of the show and uh, this work right here, this really subtle paper cutting piece, uh, it's just, it's a very powerful piece of piece of work it, it made me reevaluate the decisions I made about this whole section of the show and it's just it's charged with energy it's very uh, very simple but it, extremely political it's an important piece and uh, you know hopefully he continues making work because uh, there's lots of potential here with his with all of his work but this piece in particular is I think one of the stronger ones in the show okay, okay uh, Dan Center is a genius all right Follow this kid around. He's going to be doing some great stuff. This is amazing work. All right, and then uh, this piece right up here, uh, Arthur Zong, when I first came into the show, it was actually this work that, that sucked me into his work. Uh, the sketchbook is just is extremely tight. There's all kinds of, uh, there's a great quality of line here, but... You know, this piece, this text piece, too, just kind of sums it up, too. You know, there's a there's an otherworldliness about the work, um, kind of a longing for the sublime, uh, excellent detail. Um, I'll be curious to come back in two years to see what his senior portfolio looks like.